Mount St. Helens and Yellowstone are now considered the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. Emily Hendon of Express UK reports, Mount St. Helens, West Coast and Yellowstone are some of the world's most talked about volcanoes. These would put the lives of millions of people in very great danger if they were to erupt. And now here's the world's most dangerous volcanoes mapped. More than 278,000 people died in volcanic eruptions since the 1600s, with five eruptions causing 58% of the recorded fatalities according to Global Volcano Model Network. When assessing which volcanoes are the most dangerous in the world, there are some factors that come into play, and these include the population density, surrounding active volcanoes, eruption history, and the types of magma during the eruptions. The most affected regions where volcanic eruptions can be detected deadly include USA, Indonesia, Philippines, and parts of South America and Europe. Of course, this is around the Ring of Fire. The famous Yellowstone supervolcano will not be on the list as it last erupted 664,000 years ago. We're talking about super eruptions because Yellowstone did erupt 70,000 years ago and another 80 times since then. However, it's worth mentioning that if an eruption did occur, it would be thousands of times more powerful than a regular volcano and that would result in changes felt worldwide. Scientists still consider worth monitoring constantly. Three eruptions at Yellowstone appear to have occurred in the past 2,000 years. It was uh, 2 million years, sorry, 2.1 mil, 2 million years ago, uh, 1.3 million years ago, and about 640,000 years ago. And there are those geologists of USGS that consider that it is overdue for an eruption. Now concerning Mount St. Helens, it's the youngest and most active of the Cascade volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest. And we know that it's been very active lately, just about anywhere from 20 to 30 earthquakes per month lately. St. Helens in southwestern Washington is probably the most famous U.S. volcano outside Kilauea and began forming 40,000 years ago along with the others in the range based on subduction of the Juan de Fuca Plate. In 1647 the volcano went quiet for the next 150 years but in 1800 began another eruptive cycle that lasted 57 years before yet another again going quiet. In 1980 it roared violently back to life again and although Mount St. Helens remains quiet for now, it is still active. Mount Vesuvius is in Italy, six million people living in the vicinity of the area. This is around Naples. That's uh, on the Mount Vesuvius on the, on the right of Naples, east of Naples, whereas Campi Flegri supervolcano is on the west of Naples. So that is a very active area as we saw as we uh, stated in the video just before this one. It's under 24-7 surveillance because they believe that it could be erupting quite soon. In 79 AD, Vesuvius buried the city of Pompeii and over the last 70,000 years, the volcano has gone through in eight more explosive eruptions that were followed by large pyroclastic flows. According to the Smithsonian Institute and USGS, Global Volcanic Program Database. Vesuvius' last known eruption occurred in 1944, but is still closely monitored, and the Italian government has multiple plans prepared for a possible eruption. Mount Agung is in Indonesia, in the region with a population of about 4 million. The volcano is continuously erupting and had its last major eruption in 1963. It was one of the most devastating eruptions in the country's history. That eruption lasted 11 months, producing dangerous ash fall and pyroclastic flows that led to more than a thousand deaths. Ash plumes above the volcano have been continuously observed throughout 
last year and uh, into this following the eruption of November 2017. And then we have Mount Rainer in USA, Nova Rupta volcano in Alaska, Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines, Mount Fuji in Japan, Mount Merapi in Indonesia. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.